high-end modern flying bicycle. The most awesome flying bike in the world steps back a few decades. You might remember how authors of fiction and fantasy once predicted a world when people rode around in flying automobiles and bicycles. To realize this vision, a Japanese firm plans to release hovered motorcycles, aka flying vehicles, in the near future. At the Detroit Auto Show, a new type of motorcycle with the potential to fly or hover about the ground was presented. Airwinds Technologies is responsible for bringing this vehicle, which appears like something out of a Star Wars film, into the real world. Before we get into the greatest facts about the world's coolest flying bike, though, let's talk about why we think it's the coolest. Welcome back and thanks for visiting our channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos. Airwinds Technologies is a relatively new firm that was established in September 2016 by a group of innovators and business people studying at the University of Tokyo and specializing in the creation of drones. In February of 2017, Kumatsu Shai was appointed to the positions of the president and chairman of the firm. Katana of Daisit was elected president in July of 2018, and Kumatsu and Katano worked together to steer the company. Kumatsu was in charge of technology development, and Katano is in charge of overall management. At the 46th annual Tokyo Motor Show, Airwinds Technologies displayed a full-scale prototype of a hybrid electric vertical takeoff and landing hoverby. You may believe that the all-new X Turismo is only a proof of concept vehicle. You may be working on one of these engines sooner than you think, but be prepared to pay a lot of money. According to Airwinds Technologies, the X Turismo hoverbike is the world's first flying bike, and it is amazing. According to the company, several things need to take place before urban air travel can become a reality. These things include the production of urban hoverbikes, control of the hoverbike, and the design and authentication of air routes to ensure that no accidents take place. As a result, the company is working on developing hybrid electric overbikes, all electric Cobra bikes, and artificial intelligence. Because of the numerous sensors that are used to regulate it, the hoverbike will have good air stability specifications when used in urban situations. The X Turismo hoverbike has a length of 3.7 meters, a width of 2.4 meter and a height of 1.5 meters. It has a top speed of 97 kilometers per hour and can stay airborne for up to 30 to 40 minutes at a time. The hover bike itself weighs 300 kilograms due to the extensive use of a carbon fiber reinforced plastic in the body, and it has a maximum payload capacity of 100 kilograms. It is controlled by an electric control system, has six fan blades, and is powered by internal combustion, as well as a battery. It has self-control, thanks to the electric control system. Two mega blades, one in front and one in back, each with three blades and a safety grade to assist in getting the bike airborne, and four smaller versions to assist with steering directions and braking. The power of the hover bike comes from four electric motors, which, in conjunction with a standard gasoline-powered engine, allow the X Turismo to have a cruising range of 24.8 miles. It is a hybrid electric vehicle and an all-electric vehicle, and it can transport one passenger. The piloting is semi-automatic, which means manual with computer aid. The controls are comparable to those of a motorcycle, complete with handlebars and seats that are motorcycle-specific. It also comes equipped with a plethora of safety gadgets and software that, when combined, 
can provide assistance to the writer in a variety of different ways. The platform uses deep learning, 3D rendering, and a blockchain technology, simultaneous localization and mapping control systems on a three-dimensional scale, air wrap designs, artificial intelligence, and sensor technology are being developed for the hover bike in order to keep it flying securely in urban airspace. The beautiful bees fly through the air like a strange bug from the future. And if that isn't something to speak about, we don't know what is. More impressively, the bike can fly for up to 40 minutes on a single charge. The maximum flight time is about 3 hours when in hybrid mode. And it can lift up to 220 pounds in flight. Price and availability of bike have not yet been determined. The world's first hovercraft may be purchased for a total of $777,000 and comes in three different colors black, red, and blue. If you have been patiently waiting for the X Turismo hover bike to be made available in the United States, you are in luck. It is scheduled to arrive in 2023. However, if you want to buy this one-of-a-kind motor vehicle, you will undoubtedly need a significant amount of extra cash. Airwinds Technologies has plans to create a more economical, more compact electric version in the year of 2025 for the much lower price of $50,000. Okay. So $50,000 is a lot of money for a bike. But at least the people who buy it wouldn't have to pay more than $750,000 total. The rules of driving in traffic would have been completely rewritten if flying vehicles were ever to become a reality. Currently, the lanes on the road have lane markings that tell us where our cars should be and traffic lights allow cars coming from multiple directions to take turns. If flying vehicles became a reality, these rules would have to be rewritten from scratch. At this point, the X Turismo is not only a road worthy, it is not even a road legal yet. The hover bike was remotely controlled during its initial demonstration. You'll need some street experience before these crazy vehicles become the norm. And we're all zooming around on them, crossing an intersection the X Turismo is far from roadworthy. According to the Airwinds Technologies founder, the X Turismo hover bike will be purchased by consumers for leisurely purposes. Full governments will purchase it for a low enforcement and inspection of a large infrastructure. These demonstrate the broad appeal of the product, as it can be put to use in a variety of contexts, beyond just being a novelty item. Besides the typical left and right turn signals, with flying cars, automobiles need to use a third set of lights to let pedestrians know the intent to fly over or under them. There are many factors to think about when designing flying automobiles. With the modern vehicle, according to the City Auto Show, these flying bikes will initially be used for delivering goods rather than transporting passengers. Are drones the future of transportation? Perhaps it seems far-fetched to think that in a few years, we'll all be whizzing around the town or on hover bikes that future is becoming closer every day. It's fascinating to imagine that hover bikes and flying cars could one day take over our streets. Albeit, this may be some time away, but watching these futuristic vehicles come to reality is still cool. Soon, the X Turismo hover bike will be available for purchase. Maybe it will be faster than many Ford Rangers I've seen tearing up the streets. And maybe someday, we'll all be driving about in X Turismo. We've never seen anything quite like this hover bike before it's one of a kind. And it surely gets us excited about what the future has in the store for us. While the flying car has a cool appearance, 
it is missing the special mega fans that assist like how the Gran Turismo soar in the skies. The extra snow has limited use options as a result of Japan's stringent regulations for such machines. At the moment, flying and hovering is only permitted on racetracks. Possibly, as a result of this, the company announced in January that it would only produce 200 units making it a niche luxury product. The company also stated at the time it hopes to eventually mass-produce all electric overbikes for urban use, as well as a disaster response and search and rescue. If you want to buy one, you can visit the website of Erwin and will deliver units in late 2023. The motor vehicle comedy's co-chair ought to show held in the city. These photo reveals that he thinks the bike has a lot of untapped potential. I believe that providing products and services will be our initial focus. It's possible that it's ready for the modern. If you fly from airport to airport via drone, but I'm eager to find out when we'll be able to move on from the neighborhood to neighborhood. For the sake of those impatient to purchase this flying bicycle, let's get things ironed out. The craft is currently on sale in Japan, with a more compact version expected to hit the market in the United States in 2023. Will the x be widely used both in Japan and elsewhere, or will it remain a fun but ultimately not very useful product? For a few who can afford to acquire it simply to ride it on tracks. What do you think about the street hovering about this bike? Will it be the future of biking? Let us know in the comments below. If you like what you see, hit the bell button to subscribe to our channel and never miss an upload. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay safe out there.